Yesterday, I told the world that I was going to go and conquer that mountain, e-hill type thing over there. I managed it all right, but I finished up the day on a pair of crutches. How? I tried to be a hero and carry Bev down a hill. <laughs> I better be the gentleman and go and give her a hand. I think I just broke my ankle. Oh God! Ow! Ow! So, no frisbee in the park for me during this heat wave. We're going out, even though I've got crutches. We don't know where we're going yet because I've told Bev to decide. So she's like, woo. The girls have gone to get the car and I feel like a flint because I can't get anywhere. I'm waiting for Chris uh, to come downstairs to see if he wants to come along with us. I've customised my crutches with uh, these bandana things to stop them hurting my hands. Wow, what a day. Just waiting for Chris to come down. I think he's going to come with us. Hi Tom, you look different when you're dressed in a shirt. I know, that looks posh. Yeah, how was work? Uh, it was alright. Hello. Hey, how are you? Oh. Hey guys. Hiya Chris. Hello. Hi Carla. Good work? No, just finished. Just finished? Wow. Just got to wait for Bev and Jem to get here now. Hey, I'm not driving for once. <laughs> Bev's driving, so uh, I advise everyone to put their seat belts on. She's a bit of a nutter behind the wheel. We're at a lovely place called Tradiga Park. Tradiga, Tradiga, Tradiga Park. This is great here. There's loads of people in the park. There's a uh, mini golf and a playground over there. We've got this huge park and Bev and Gemma have bought one of them ring frisbees just to rub it in because they know I won't be able to run and catch it. <laughs> Chris and Carla are playing frisbee and I'm determined to get in on the action. Ooh, ah! Ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I try playing frisbee hopping about on one leg, but it doesn't really work, so I think I'll leave these pros to it. <sighs> That's an exquisite looking picnic the girls have brought. What do you think, Chris? The Irishman doesn't speak. In fact, he never speaks. He only speaks when it's profound. Hello. Hello. I'm on one foot. <laughs> it feels really rubbish not being able to run everywhere and catch the frisbee and play properly. Instead I've just got to watch everyone. Wow, talk about frisbee. <laughs> one just hit me. Go back. Oh, oh. Gemma, Carla, Bev, Chris. <laughs> there is a there is a caterpillar on my on my foot. What the hell is that? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's killing you. <laughs> Guess we get rid of it. Come on then. Right, we're going to play some mini golf now. We've finished with our frisbee. Because apparently it's £1.50 per person. 
and I, have, I need to show these guys how to play golf properly. And, and to prove it, I'm going to play it on one leg. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. I wish I knew there was crazy golf down here earlier. I love crazy golf. Right. I'm up fourth. I'm going to show these kids how it's done. Yeah. Yeah, babies. Chris, do you remember that? Yes, Sam. Um, it's quite fun actually. Gemma's winning, Carla's catching up, I'm second, and Chris and Bev are around equal. <laughs> yeah. We're now on the final hole. And it's a really tough hole. Crazy golf madness, look at that. Right, if I get this a hole in one, it means I win. If I miss, it means Jem can come up from behind and take me. Oh! oh. You're keeping everybody up. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Leaf, is that his excuse? <laughs> oh, it's in! It's all to play for, really. I took nine shots on a hole in one course, and I was in the lead, so anyone could beat me here. It's Bev's first shot. If she gets a hole in one, she wins. She whacks it up the course. Bev wins. Oh, I'm the final scores are controversial. Bev's just calculating them at the moment. And I can say, in last place, is Gemma Tremlett, 36, 214 over par. <laughs> and in joint second place is Chris, Oi. Carla, Oi. and Bev. No, and me. <laughs> uh, with 30, we were two under par. And winner is Beverly. I have no idea how, but she always wins everything. So she gets a kiss. She wins with 24, 218 under par. Tiger Woods can jog on. Well done to Beverly, the winner. Thank you. After a nice sunny day, we head home. It's six o'clock in the evening, yet yeah, it's still glorious outside. We all love the summer and I hate my ankle. We're all sat outside too scared to go into our whole rooms and our kitchens and stuff because it's too hot in there. Whereas outside in the courtyard in the quadrangle of Opal it's quite nice. There is one incredible sunset going down in Newport at the moment. I might have to try and time, time lapse that. Why have you got a towel on your head? It's so bright in here, the iPhone can't deal with the colour, the brightness. Something really, really gross is going on with my foot. It's turned all purple and bruising on the other side of the ankle. Well, that's enough for me today. My ankle still hurts loads and loads, but I'm sure it will get better. Fingers crossed. It's day 139 of 365. Thanks for hanging around. Hope you've enjoyed today. We have, even though I've been hopping around everywhere. See you tomorrow. Bye. Chris, what are you doing with a screwdriver at the window? Trying to take off this guy so I can open the window fully. Is that legal? Is no. that within our contract? No? No, it's probably going to be a £50 fine. Well, I'm glad you're doing it in your flat and not ours. That's all <laughs> I can say. <laughs>